Live from WSLS, this is 10 News at 6, working for you. Good evening and thanks for joining us for 10 News at 6. I'm Annie Schroeder. The Department of Defense has identified all 13 service members who were killed in a suicide bombing outside Kabul's airport. More than 170 other people were killed in the blast. Intelligence agencies say there is still a major risk from ISIS-K launching another attack, but it's not stopping Afghan citizens from flocking to the airport. Still desperate to get out, the U.S. military carried out a targeted drone strike in retaliation. Afghan journalists say that strike killed a man, woman, and child child and injured several other people. Be leaving uh, Afghanistan, but we aren't quitting it. And I think if you listen closely to the president, he is explaining what the post August 31st uh, presence of the United States is. It is clearly going to be covert operations. The deadline to get U.S. forces, American citizens and vulnerable Afghans out is this Tuesday. And thousands of Afghans are here in Virginia seeking refuge, but starting a new life in a different country can be a challenge. Razia and Ramzia fled Afghanistan six years ago and immediately came to the Blue Ridge Literary, Literary Center in downtown Ro Roanoke to learn English. Though American clothing and grocery stores are a little bit different, learning a whole new language is their biggest challenge. Whether it's taking a bus or deciphering junk mail, organizers say their struggles bring perspective to many. Now to being able to have conversations, schedule doctor's appointments, take phone calls. Um, it's really inspiring to see what they do every day. To learn more about what Blue Ridge Literacy offers, you can head over to our website at WSLS.com. South Boston police need your help in finding a man wanted for attempted second degree murder. Authorities say James Hobbs is wanted for an incident that happened Thursday in the Lincoln Drive and West Side area. He's also wanted in connection to use of a firearm and assault on a family member. Police say he is armed and dangerous and anyone with information is asked to call 911. And Roanoke police are investigating a shooting overnight at Good Times Tavern. Police say they were called to the area near midnight for a report that someone had been shot. A man was taken to the hospital with critical injuries. Officials say no suspect is in custody. This is the third shooting the city has seen in the last day. And a dog and cat are dead after a house fire in Danville last night. Crews responded to a possible house fire on Ruskin Street. Crews say everyone made it out of the home safely and they were on the scene for about three hours. The fire marshal's office says the fire started in the dryer vent in the home's back laundry room. Five people are being assisted by the local Red Cross. And Hurricane Ida is taking aim at the Gulf Coast, now a Category 2 storm. And forecasters believe it could increase to a Category 4 by the time it's expected to make landfall on Sunday. Recent satellite imagery shows the storm is becoming more organized as it crosses the Gulf, and it should intensify over the next 24 hours. This is a very dangerous storm, and we will and will possibly bring life threatening impacts. President Joe Biden says they're doing everything they can to prepare for the storm's aftermath. Your local weather authority always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. We've had a few severe thunderstorm warnings this afternoon and into this evening. At this point, though, no longer tracking any severe storms, still holding on to some light and at times heavier rainfall back towards the highlands, more specifically for Greenbrier and Pocahontas County. That won't be with us for too much longer, though. For tonight, back to the 60s and lower 70s, staying muggy outside and bringing in some patchy fog for parts of our area by tomorrow morning. For tomorrow afternoon, those temperatures very similar to what we dealt with today over the past few days, 90s across much of the region with a few mid to upper 80s back towards the New River Valley and the Highlands. We are going to be staying hot through about Tuesday with more isolated rain chances sticking with us. Then we're watching Wednesday very closely for the remnants of Ida moving in, dropping our temperatures to the low 80s as well. Grammy note, we filled a lots of messages and calls in regards to this. The Washington football team preseason game currently live on our air on WSLS. That game just getting underway as we speak. Now, at the conclusion of that, we will join in progress the Coke Zero Sugar 400 on WSLS again. NASCAR will be joined in progress at the conclusion of that preseason game between Washington and Baltimore. I know lots of you will be looking for the race. I will bring you the highlights from anything you may have missed tonight on 10 Sports at 11. And as a note, Kyle Larson will start at the rear of the race there to start that one after multiple inspections 
uh, inspection failures during the pre-race. Be consistent, develop, maximize, and elevate. That's the mission of Hoop Love Academy, an organization offering training clinics, camps, and now a rec league known as Synergy. Now, the Synergy season will run for nine months beginning in September. Today, HLA held an open run at Countryside Sportsplex. Two dozen kids turned out from the ages of 8 to 15. Founders McKenzie Lewis and Stefan Anderson are both former hoop stars from Northside and William Fleming, respectively, and simply want to instill the values of commitment and hard work to the youth. It's constant development. I think that the kids, when they come in here, the things they understand is that um, we don't we don't do anything to where we're trying to make them do anything that's outside of their ability, but we're asking them to push themselves to the max, to the capacity of what they have to give and also understand that it's work. Um, they have to work at it. Nothing. All the players that they see that are in the NBA, they're in college, they had to work. Your news and notes, Salem underway with Delmarva, Lynchburg, and Kannapolis. First pitch at 7 p.m. As we mentioned, Washington and Baltimore just kicked off over on WSLS. And Patrick Cantley currently leading the BMW Championship on the PGA Tour. Annie? Eric, thank you. That's all we have time for for now. We'll see you back here on the air at WSLS tonight at 11.